Uh, welcome to David Game College Horizon Pods. Uh, today, in this podcast, we're going to look at the David Game College Accommodation Department and the service it provides to all of its students. I'm happy that uh, with me today is Anna Pina Fattorosu. I hope I've spelled I, I've um, Fattorosu. Uh, I pronounce it well. Is it Fattorosu? Yeah, Fattoruso. nearly. <laughs> Perfect. Um, Italian, I assume, yes? Yes, I am. Brilliant. Um, well, welcome, uh, uh, Anna Pina. And um, Thank you. you also have a colleague who's not here with us today. It's mm -hmm. uh, Anita Duca. Yeah, she's she the manager. And she supports you and helps you with the accommodation as well, yeah? Yeah. That's good. Okay, so um, tell me a little bit about your role at David Game College um, within the accommodation department. Yeah, so uh, as you were mentioning, um, I'm the accommodation officer. So together with Anita, who is the manager, we both provide support to the students. Um, they inquire uh, regarding the accommodation. So according to their budget, uh, any requests specifically or needs that they may have, they inquire to us through uh, emails, telephone or in person. And we make sure that we give, we provide all the information that they need. Uh, we help them choose the right accommodation, we book the accommodation, we provide tours, so we make sure that they are aware of everything and we support through all the booking pro process. Good. Um, Good. And um, okay, so, so that's interesting because um, obviously a lot of them are all still abroad in their own countries. Yes. And they're getting prepared to travel and come. Yeah. So they must, uh, do they see any videos or any uh, of the accommodation? Yeah, so actually regarding what you said, I think it's important to mention that as a college we understand how difficult it is, especially if you come from abroad and you need to book an accommodation. Yeah. Many, agency, uh, many agencies might not be uh, reliable uh, or they might not mm, be able to find uh, you know, good accommodation within the budget. So we understand that, and this is the reason why we decided to provide different options, either in terms of budget and mm -hmm. facilities. Um, so then, continue, if you continue from there, then tell me more about what type of accommodation does uh, the David Game Group offer? Yeah, so um, we have accommodation here, near, right near the college. And we also have accommodation which is cheaper, in different types of accommodation uh, in West London. So it's in, um, the first thing I have to mention is that we provide accommodation for both boarding students, so underage, and the 18 plus students. Okay, so underage is under 18. Yes. And then the 18 plus. Yeah? Exactly. So mm -hmm. they are called Good. border students. Yes. So we have a different mm, mm, option, different package for them. They mm -hmm. have living house parents, they have everything included and is right next to the college within the urbanist uh, city. Um, while for the 18 plus student, we have either um, rooms inside Urbanest as well, uh, but different floors, or um, we also have uh, West London residencies, which are more of Victorian houses. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So they will get to use transport, they will learn how to use London transport, uh, but they are more affordable in terms of prices and uh, so yeah, we try to give options, different yes. options. Yes, that's that's really that's really good. And um, tell me a little bit about the facilities. Say in Urbanness, the main uh, under under eighteen one, um, and also obviously the eighteen plus facilities. So are they similar or? Uh, yeah. So for for um, Urbanness, the one next to the college is a more modern residence. So is um, a building which was built up for the purpose of being a student residence. They have a 24 hour reception, uh, they have all the bills included. Um, however, they need to provide their own, um, it, it's self-catered. Mm -hmm. So uh, different from the boarding house, from the boarding students, they have to provide uh, for their own food. Uh, which is the same in West London. However, West London is not next to the college, so uh, they will need to spend money for the transport, mm -hmm. but the option of the rooms is uh, di cheaper. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. We provide, um, as well, bills are included. We provide cleaning every two weeks of the, uh, general, of the common areas. 
Um, yeah. Very good, very good. And um, uh, within the actual rooms, do you have um, rooms which are en suite or yes. not? Or good question. Yeah, I mean, it's because <laughs> some parents like their kids to have yeah, it's true. those type of so, facilities. So uh, with both the accommodation for the 18 plus students, we, pro we have a standard en suite and studios. So it all depends on what is the price that they want to pay and what they need. So standard will have their own room, which are all single occupancy. So they will have their own uh, private room, but they will share the bathroom. Uh, the entry rooms will have their own uh, bathroom as well. So they will have the private bathroom. And the studio is like a mini apartment. So they will have also their own kitchen included inside the, the room. Very good. So, very we good. really so have everything they need. Absolutely. So <laughs> just needs to ask. They have a good choice, a very good choice. Yes. And um, the under six, the under 18s who mm -hmm. come for GCSE and A-level in particular, um, their facilities are very modern, modern there. And, uh, but they have, as, the, as they are boarders, they have mm. all the catering here yeah. at the college. Is that right? The breakfast... Yes. Lunch and dinner. So yes. for the boarders, they are more supervised okay. uh, because they are under 18. So um, they have everything included. They come in the college, they have breakfast, lunch and dinner, everything included. And they are obviously more supervised by the uh, house parents. Perhaps. So okay. they do activities, everything uh, with the house parents. While the 18 plus are more independent. So, oh, um, yeah. Uh, very good. Very good. And... Um, so, okay, I'm a parent and I'm now in Brazil and I want to book the accommodation. Tell me, what is the process? What do I do? How do I book? So, uh, student, student family, students can either contact us by email and we provide information, including what you were asking me before. We have some uh, videos on YouTube okay. um, mm. and for the pictures, we have brochures. So we generally send this via email when they uh, have an inquiry, when they contact us. They can telephone us or they can come uh, in person where they will all, we will also be able to provide an actual tour of the of the facilities of Very the good. place of the college as well is nice you know to come and see us in person um, or sometimes they even um, decide to go through an agent we have uh, internal agents that help them to uh, do the accommodation uh, sorry do the the booking the booking okay yeah mm -hmm. But the on so they, would they fill in online booking form for David Game College to secure the accommodation? Um, there must be an application process. Yeah, no. Well, once they are, once they contact us, we provide the booking form. Right. So we provide everything we will need. We will tell them everything we need to have. Um, to be able to book with us, the first thing is they will need to have a course offer letter from David Game College um, group. So any partner, David Game College, including A-level or GCSE with us, or any uh, other courses that are part of the, the David Game College group, like uh, University Foundation Program or Kensington of English Academy or London Film Academy, for example. Once they have this offer letter, they contact us yes. and we provide the booking form, we provide the brochure mm -hmm. and all the other information we, we need. Mm -hmm. With the booking form, we will start holding the room uh, for them, and then they will need to pay to secure and so confirm the booking. Soon, yes, yeah, that's right. There's a procedure for the financial yeah. procedures. And um, you mentioned that the um, under 18 accommodation is just not even a minute's uh, walk away from the college. Is that right? Yes, it's literally one minute's walk or some, even less. Yeah, that's really good. That's really yeah. good. Yeah, so it's very safe for students and. Uh, for the family especially and the same the 18 plus uh, accommodations whoever choose urbanist is right next to the college so they don't need the transport very good very good very yeah good. so um okay so do you have any suggestions for the potential students um uh, when they wish to book uh, with uh, the david kane college accommodation uh well yeah the first thing i would say is to be um, you know, um, early bookings are highly recommended because we have a high demand for uh, certain rooms, especially end suite studios. So if they want to go for this room, it's important that they book uh, to, uh, through us as soon as 
possible. Um, also, um, as I mentioned before, some students might prefer to go to book independently or through us, which is totally fine for them. It's up to them to choose. But obviously, if they book independently, um, we were not able to help them or to support them if any issue incur. Right. So right. it's up to them. Yeah, right. but they take the risk of uh, booking with another agent. Yes. With uh, other other accommodation. Yeah. Yes, you you never know. Because we can sign, give them they advice. They a contract with someone else. So exactly. Obviously, obviously, they will need to go through them correct. if there is any issue. Uh, and then personally, I always suggest that they need to enjoy the experience because mm -hmm. being abroad as a student is a very fulfilling experience. They will learn to take care of themselves and they will learn, uh, they will meet new people, friends that maybe many of them will go through, you know, their yeah. life. So yes. mm -hmm. enjoy the experience, study, but enjoy the experience. As well, uh, oh, that's really good. Um, all right, so um, I think if we just summarize a couple of, of, the, of, the, of the main, main points point. for the parents, uh, because you you, may, you mentioned quite a few things. So what do parents really have to do to make sure they don't lose out on, on accommodation? Because I know everybody leaves at last minute. Yeah, obviously uh, there are many students that will come from abroad to, to study here in UK. Uh, and uh, eventually the accommodations as well, uh, the availability of the accommodation will reduce. So. Uh, it is important that they start checking and applying early in the year, uh, especially if they have specific needs, like I want a studio rather than I want a premium and so So if they want certain, uh, if they have certain needs, I would definitely suggest to start early in the year to apply and do, even because sometimes through my experience of what I heard, uh, sometimes it might be a bit slower, you know, all the documentation. So the earlier they start, the better. That's really good, um, yeah. Pina. Very, very good. And I'm glad that you um, have been able to um, cover all the areas that we need. Um, and, uh, well, we will welcome the new batch of students yes. uh, who are coming in this for this September intake. Yes, and we have very a good uh, number of students. Um, we also have... Uh, January intake so we started recruiting for January intake so again whoever wants to start in January start applying now <laughs> because um, we have already a few limited uh, places yeah yeah, yeah very places. good Anna well thank you very very much and thank you um, for inviting me <laughs> um, it's my pleasure and um, to our listeners for any further information on today's podcast as well as all of the David game podcast that we've done so far, they can be found on davidgamecollege.com. Thank you for listening. Thank Goodbye. you. Bye.